for race four DD2 Simas Judveris from Lithuania is on pole. Mike Barton from Belgium is also on row one. Estonia's Gorg Van shares row two with New Zealand's Matt Hamilton. In this, the final race of the 2010 Rotax Max Challenge Grand Finals from La Conca. The 24 lap DD2 race final. Judavis and Barton lead the field to the start. Canadian Daniel Murad was the quickest throughout qualifying, but starts the final in 13th after a few problems in the pre-final. They get the green and Judavis leads the field into turn one, followed by Gorg Van and Mike Barton. Judavis leads from Van, Barton and Hamilton, the New Zealand driver. Van gets better acceleration on the straight and takes the lead from Judavis. Then it's Barton's turn to pass the Lithuanian. Germany's Andre Uber also gets past Judavis, who is now nowhere to be seen. Number 254, Daniel Morad, is up to fifth place. It's Van from Barton, followed by Uber. Australia's Damien Ward gives us an idea just how close the action is as he follows number 272, Damien Vulium from France. Van leads from Barton, Huber and Hamilton. GP3 driver Daniel Moret has dropped down a few positions. But he's looking to battle back and he gets around. He's up to fifth place and is trying his best to close the game. George Van still leads from Mike Barton, while Daniel Murad is now fourth and pursuing Huber for third place. Judavis managed to get under Murad in the hairpin to move back up to fourth, but Murad managed to repass the Lithuanian a little bit later in the race. The top six have broken away from the rest of the DD2 field, with Van leading from Barton, followed by Huber, Judaris, Morad, and Matthew Hamilton. And in fact, he goes to the inside and drops the Estonian down to second place. Belgium takes the lead. Mike Barton leads, Van isn't too far, but he's looking for a way. Mike Barton leads, Judavis is getting a good toe and he gets into the inside and gets past. It's Barton from Judavis. Daniel Morad goes to the inside and takes the spot, bringing Andre Huber with him. Mike Barton can now relax just a little bit. He's got a comfortable lead from the hard charging Daniel Morad. Meanwhile, Van moves back up another spot, dropping Hamilton down. Huber uses the draft on Judavis, but he can't make the pass. Your leader is Mike Barton. Daniel Morad is second. Judavis from Lithuania is third. He's followed by Andre Huber and George Van. Fifth place, George Van tries a passing move on Uber that doesn't exactly go according to plan, dropping the Estonian out of the running. Huber gets past Judavis for third, and Matt Hamilton came from nowhere to run third behind Barton and Mored, who is starting to reel in the leader. Morad plays it patient, saving his tires before opening up the throttle in his pursuit of leader, the, kid, the Belgian, Mike Barton. The Canadian gets a good toe as they come onto the front straight for the final time. He's got Barton in his sights. He doesn't make the move here, but he dives to the inside. They're side by side, and Morad takes the lead. Mike Barton isn't about to give up. He tries to get under, but Morad slams the door. Mike Barton even taps Murad, but no doing. 
Murad looks to his left. He knows he's going to have to close the door as they come into that final hairpin. And he does. He stays to the inside. Murad takes a clean line. Barton's going to have to use the draft. But it's not looking good. Daniel Murad's going on for the win here in the final race at the World Finals. Oh, and he's into Barton. Massive accident for the Canadian. A massive, and it looks like his foot stuck in the brake pedal. Well, here's hoping that everyone's okay. Mike Barton still hasn't gotten out of his cart. I think Daniel Murad's trying to explain to the course worker that there was something stuck at his pedal. Yeah, and he comes over to, to say he's sorry to his good friend from Belgium. But Daniel Murad is your winner here in the DD2 final race from this year's Rotax Max Challenge Grand Final.